Hello everyone, welcome back to the Hobart Face Sports Network. I am your host Justin Winter, and today we're going on the road to face the Oregon Ducks. They're having a better year than Washington State, 4-3 and three so far. And they're, well, above average I guess on offense, and below average pretty far down there on defense. Yeah, that's not the greatest for them. They're led by Ted Hawley. Thus far he's 97 for 190, that's barely over 50%. Almost 1,200 yards, 16 touchdowns to four picks. He's not exactly lighting up the scoreboard in any respect. He's got scramble ability though, so that's probably what he's going to be doing most of the game. And then at running back, Alonzo Doucette, he's having a pretty good year. He's got 715 yards, so he's averaging over 100 yards a game. That's good. Four touchdowns though, that's kind of underwhelming if I'm being honest. And again, not the greatest, but he could do something with a good O-line. Welcome to Eugene, Oregon, where Hobart Bay is going to face the Oregon Ducks. Finally, Oregon is wearing something respectable. Personally, I'm not a fan of a lot of Oregon's jerseys, but today, their all-green look is looking pretty fine. Both teams, well, actually, their offenses are quite diametrically opposed. Apparently we have the worst rushing offense in the nation. I doubt that, it's just because we prefer to pass. But we actually have a pretty good run offense. They have a really good run offense. An okay pass offense as well. Yeah, we'll just have to see. It's the ones versus the zeros today. You'll look at the different logos. Here we go. From Oregon, we have kickoff from Otis Spielberg. And that one will not go out the back of the end zone. He actually catches it and takes a knee. An unusually short kick by Otis Spielberg. All right, first play for Ted Hawley. He will do a little screen to do set, and he gets tackled out of bounds. And that's how the first drive for Oregon ends. Three and out. Hey, we, we like it when they do that. First down and 10 with some eye formation. Toss left to Tyreen Nolan, gets blocks on the edge, has a whole lot of room, and he picks up 31 yards on his first carry of the day. That's a pretty good start to the game. Split backfield now. Wessner keeps. It's a triple option. And he... Oh, he fumbled it. And Gardner picks it up. And Oregon gets the ball back. I don't know if that ball was stripped or if Wessner tried to pitch it too late. But either way, the ball hit the turf. And now Oregon has the ball. Another chance for the Ducks. Ted Hawley will not pitch it out. He loses three yards. Kobe Jackson coming in and getting that tackle. We always appreciate him. Oregon, now another option, and Ted Hawley does not pitch it again, this time fighting forward, and picking up 10 yards. Determined to make up what he lost. Third down and three now for the Ducks. Can they avoid another three and out? The answer is maybe Doucette. Yes, they do avoid the three and out. Four yard run. Now first down and 10 for the Ducks, another option play. Oh boy, this is classic Oregon right now. They're picking up another first down. 17 yards for Ted Hawley. Need to stop it, believe it or not. Dennis comes over and now Ted Hawley will get tackled behind the line of scrimmage. With these option plays, it's often either a loss or a big play. There's not much in between. Third down and seven. Hawley will now look to throw and he gets it out. And that one is too high for his receiver. Almost picked, though I'm not sure he would have got our feet in bounds. Now a 51-yard field goal. Here we go. This kick is up. And he pushed it left. Still no points for the Oregon Ducks. They are true to their logo. And off to Tyree Nolan. Hits the gap and he gets tackled from behind. That doesn't normally happen. Third down and four now. Still with four receivers out there. And no, oh, it's a keeper for Glessner, and he picks up the first down. He's trying to make up for his fumble. Well, bud, they didn't score on it. Don't stress about it. First down 10, he keeps again. Now he's really trying to make up for it. Gets tackled, that's a pretty hard tackle. Careful not to take those. Slide down if you need to. First down and 10. What are we gonna do now? It's a little play action. Glessner heaves it deep, and that one is... Caught by JoJo McIntosh for the touchdown. 
the second week in a row where he has inaugurated the scoring with a one-on-one -on -one catch. What a man, and at only what, 5'5", five 5'6"? Five, five and this guy is going up and beating all these scholarship athletes. What a man. What a man. So glad we picked him up. Second down and seven now for Oregon on the following drive. Ted Hawley does a little draw to do set. He fights ahead and he gets the first down. All right, I see, I see. Our draw defense hasn't been very good recently. And now he's looking to throw. Hawley running with it instead. He gets tackled just short of the first down marker. Bring about third down and inches. Play call here. It's a play action, and that's caught. Holmes this time. First down for Oregon. Play call here. It's going to be a fake, and it's a snow. He fumbled it, and Cantrell picks it up. He's bailed out by his linemen. Always, they're bailed out by their linemen. Now third down and 15. Long ways to go, and their play call is a throw, so I respect that at least. Holly gets sacked again. Not very good. And that will be the last significant play of the first quarter. Hobart Bay leads 7 0 with possession. Well, we get down to a third down pretty quickly. Sometimes we just feel like it. Third down and seven, Glessner looking to throw. He goes over the middle and it's broken up. So, so much for us taking advantage of the possession. Oregon ball now, third down and nine. They feel like giving it back to us, it looks like. Uh, they're gonna go with a little screen now. That's McIntyre, got the first down with a block. Picks up a solid 17 yards, all right, but it's third down again. Again, split backfield. Let's see what they do this time. And they're gonna do the exact same thing. And it's going to be the exact same result. McIntyre, 17 yards. Oh, my goodness. It was accurate down to the yards that they got. Now it's second down. Get that. Second down this time. Hand off to Spurlock. And he picks up six yards. All right. Now that it's not third down and long, they probably won't go with that same screenplay. Uh, I was right. They're not. They go over the middle. That's caught by Robinson. What a catch. Gotta respect that. First down and goal. Now they're gonna hand it off to Spurlock, get some blocks, and he fights into the end zone. Touchdown, Ducks. Morgan with an extra point gonna tie and Kent Spurlock. Did he break any records? I don't think so. He's just a fullback, but still, good play for him. Look at that. Great blocking for the O-line. There's, there's nothing I can say that's bad. I mean, that's just a good play. First down and 10 now for us. We're going to hand off to Nolan on the sweep. He gets the cut. He's tackled after about five. All right, not the greatest run, but it's it's a solid one. Third down and one now. Split backfield. The play call is another handoff to Nolan. He hits the gap and picks up a bunch more for another first down. Second down and nine now. Play call is play action. Lesnar looking over the middle. Caught by McIntosh. Again getting hit just after he caught it. For a small guy to hang on to a catch after a hit like that, it's pretty good. Hand off now to John Gordon. He doesn't get as much as the other freshmen have gotten, but he picks up eight yards. Good solid run. Now second down and two. We are going to hand off to Nolan again, who picks up another first down. All right. We're keeping it simple here, not going very complex. First down and 10 now. Lesnar gonna throw, he rolls out, looking for someone. Goes to the right, caught by Bentley Zwiebel and he's tackled just short of the goal line. About two yards out, but again, the redshirt freshman coming up big. First down and 10 now, toss left, Tyree Nolan, all the room in the world. No one stopped him there, an easy touchdown for us. We go up by a score with about 46 seconds left. Tyree Nolan, is there anything special? He's continuing to add upon his record for most rushing touchdowns in a career. He's going to make it just about impossible to surpass. Oregon has 46 seconds. Go and try and tie or at least cut into the deficit. 
Holly throws, and it's intercepted by Seth Adams. That's not cutting into the deficit. That's allowing us to make it bigger. Ha <laughs> ha. Thank you, Ted Holly. We take those. Doug Glover got so many of those, and now Seth Adams gets his. Thrown right to him. 42 seconds now for us to do anything. Fred Stone is in there. Going to give him some reps. He goes to the left. Caught by Jodo Joannan. That seems to be his favorite target. Of course, his limited play options. So, I mean, you know, it is what it is. Now Glessner is in again. 37 seconds left. He's going to throw. He goes to the left. And that's caught by Joseph Jacobson for another Hobart Bay touchdown. And in the span of about one minute, it has gone from a tie game to a 14-point game. And that will end the first half. Hobart Bay leads 21-7. Oregon's defense was pretty good until the end of the second quarter. Their offense was, well, only good when they can throw screen plays on third down and long. That's honestly all it was. They haven't impressed me very much today, and I was hoping for something like that. We would like, you know, not to give our fans another heart attack, but sometimes we just can't help ourselves. Now, I forgot to start recording when this half started, so here's what happened. We uh, we got forced to punt. When we punted, they uh, sort of muffed it, and then we recovered at about the 25-yard line. So that's where we are. That's where we are. First down and 10 now. Let's get this thing going. And we are going to throw to start Glessner over the middle to Joseph Jacobson. Had some room. It closes quickly. First down and goal now from about the 7-yard line. And it's an empty backfield now. Lessner looking for something. He will run for it, and somehow, somehow, he got out of that blob and made it to the end zone. I don't know how that works, but it works. We'll take it. Touchdown for us. But my good, look at this. He just runs in there, and it's like a crowd in New York City when they say, go ahead and walk. Wow. So now Oregon's down by three scores. Let's see how they go. Williams gets the first carry, and he picks up a first down with room ahead. He's chased down by, it looks like, Dane Burns. Now second down and six. And they're going to bring Dennis in motion. They're going to hand off to Doucette. He will pick up five yards. Okay, it's a good chunk. Third down and one. Now Dennis in motion again. And that's a broken play, but Holly still gets the first down. Don't know what they were trying to do, but it worked. Second down and nine. Hand off again to Doucette. He gets three yards, and now he's down. Alonzo Doucette is injured. Not good for Oregon. You lose starters when you're down by 21. Yeah, that's, that's not good. Now trying to convert here. Holly will go to the right. Caught by Bailey. He's pushed out just just before the first down marker. They're going to kick a field goal. Not as aggressive as Washington State, huh? Here we go. Kick is up, and he got it. Barely, but he got it. All right, so now it's an 18-point game. Eye formation. Westner, play action, looking. He goes to the right, caught by Jodo Joannan. First down and 10 at about the 42-yard line. Good play by him. Now a split backfield. We're going to adjust the play again. We love calling audibles. Lesnar to the right. Caught by McIntosh. Can't quite outrun the defender. Nevertheless, it looks like our offense, after the end of that second quarter, we've regained some momentum. Now Zwiebel, play action to him. Glessner just gets it out and caught by Nolan. He's tackled just short of the five-yard line. And, oh, that's something big. Tyree Nolan now has the career receptions record. Receptions. Tyree Nolan has more catches than Bubba West. And Bubba West is a wide receiver. Tyree Nolan is a running back. I think everyone can agree he is the best receiving back probably in college football history. And why not celebrate with a rushing touchdown? That only makes sense. My goodness, Tyree Nolan, you are something else. The most rushing touchdowns in college football history continuing to add to that record. 
over a thousand yards rushing I think three of four years if he can get it this year if he can get it this year with that caveat Holly now throws to the left that's caught by Pitts 13 yards first down and 10 now Oregon they, they gotta get this they they have to score here that one's caught by McIntyre it's tackled short of the first down not the greatest play now, Holly looking, he goes to the right, caught by Holmes, first down, not playing like a team that's down by 25. Now they're going to throw again, Holly's going to run with it instead, he slides down, gain of 7. Alright, sure taking their time, if I were them I'd put a little more pep in my step. Holly gets sacked now, loss of 7, loses all the yards he just got. Dan Burns gets that sack. Now third down and ten. What is their response to that sack? Well, we're going to try for a throw. It's a little screen. They're not throwing it, and Holly takes another sack. Loss of eight. Sausage getting his own there. And that will be the end of the third quarter. Hobart Bay gets the ball with a 25-point lead. I think this one is pretty much done. Oregon would stop us and finally get into a position to score, but three minutes left, I'm pretty sure this is too late. Holly keeps, fights ahead, and he scores a touchdown. Again, it's uh, maybe too little too late. They only go for one, so it's still a three-score game. And uh, Spielberg is just going to come on, get an easy field goal after an onside recovery. And Oregon, oh, well, we got a studio update first, and this one is Boston College. Falling to a previously 1-6 Virginia Tech. Ouch. That might knock them out of the uh, playoff conversation. Even if, they, uh, even if they do win out. Second and goal now. Oregon does get into another position to score. Holly over the middle, caught by Williams. That makes it a two-score game. Again, it's way too little. Way too late. Junior Williams, I mean... I guess you gotta celebrate about something, but uh, that's gonna end it right there. Hobart Bay wins 38-24. 14 point win, but honestly, it was nowhere near that close the entire rest of the game. Pretty good game all around here. Player of the game is Tyree Nolan. When is he not? Over 100 yards receiving, I mean carrying, sorry, 20 yards receiving, a couple touchdowns. Pretty good game. Pretty good game indeed. So, Oregon was not much of a test. They only scored late when we had backups in. And then that was really late in the game. So, yeah, finally we did not get a heart stopper. This one was not close. We were actually able to relax just a little bit. Looked like it might not be that way for some time. But once the first half ended that sequence of events scoring 14 points in the last minute and a half it was over it was well and sufficiently over then then they muffed the punt which unfortunately did not get shown but yep finally we do not have to worry about giving our older fans a heart attack and i will recap this relatively relaxing one in the post game show well glessner went 18 for 14 192 yards two touchdowns no picks pretty good day all around for him Tyree Nolan on the ground, as we saw before, he's got 108 yards, two touchdowns, 42 yards for John Gordon. Touchdown for Andrew Glessner as well, so he had an okay day. On the receiving end, it was really JoJo McIntosh with the touchdown. However, Joe Annan made his own contributions. Joseph Jacobson got a touchdown. Nolan got the one 20-yard catch to break the receptions mark. And Zwiebel, he came up big when we needed him. On the defensive side, Oscar McGee with eight tackles, seven of them solo. One of those was assisted. He got a tackle for loss, but no sacks. Two sacks, however, for Dane Burns. A free safety getting two sacks. It doesn't sound right. It just doesn't. On the Oregon side of the ball, five tackles for John Jackson and for Terrence Harris. All of those were solo, none for loss, no sacks. There's no way to distinguish between these guys. And on the receiving end, 
Their top receiver wound up being, it looks like, Terry McIntyre with 67 yards, only because of those screen plays. And yeah, it's pretty minimal across the board on the rushing end. Again, very minimal. Poor offensive day. Ted Hawley, 46 yards and a touchdown before he went down. Starting running back, Duceppe, not working out. Uh, touchdown for Ken Spurlock. A lot of different guys got runs, though. So they spread the ball out. And through the air, 21 for 25. 195 yards, that's more than I thought he had. A touchdown and a pick, but he took four sacks. So that doesn't help. And, uh, yeah, I missed the uh, box score, so we're just going to the Oregon State game. I hope to see you there, but until then, make sure to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and have a nice day.